Hello Aquarius, welcome. This is messages from your spirit guides, from your angel guides, from your spiritual team about breaking your chains. Perhaps something that you need to let go of, something that you know you need to be aware of that is holding you back. Um, these are going to be messages for December 9th through the 16th, 2023. I'll never DM or solicit you. Don't forget to follow me on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook. And I do these weekly, so let's get into the messages for you. All right. Let's see what we need to know, what your guide's bringing through. So we have some coping issues. So difficulties with coping mechanisms, needing new coping strategies, unable to cope with the existing problems. Yeah, problems that are too big to be handled alone. So yeah, this could be needing like therapy or like talk therapy or some type of support or perhaps like a social group or a social media group for coping or um, you know, emotional support or whatever it is you need. This could be grief. You might be, you know, dealing with the death of a loved one and, you know, the old coping mechanisms are not working and you need new ones or, you know, maybe you need to feel heard or understood with some situation in your life. So we have dishonesty and manipulation. So current or past broken trust has caused you great despair. You may need to reevaluate some of your connections. You might be dealing with somebody who is a liar, a cheater, um, someone who is a deceiver, who's false, a false friend, a false love, um, you know, maybe like a false person at work. So be careful who you trust. Be careful who you tell your business to because I feel like sometimes in some people, um, a listening ear is sometimes a running mouth. So yeah, be very careful, um, Aquarius. It could be that, you know, somebody just doesn't have your best interest in mind and they might be gossiping. They might be telling your, you know, problems and stories and issues to other people. What else do we need to know? We have moving and relocation popping up. So this could be like maybe you want to change residence. This could be like moving across town or moving across state or moving across country. Um, it could also be like for work. It could be traveling for work or doing something where you have to go away for like, um, you know, like a conference or like a training. Um, to me, this also could be maybe you wanting to move in with somebody or somebody wanting to move in with you or possibly wanting to move closer to um, somebody like if it's a romantic relationship you want to move closer you want to move them in or vice versa you're going to move in with them this could be for a child if you have children you want to move closer they're going to move closer to you um or yeah it could be like with your job you might need to drive a little further to work because your office location is going to change um but yeah, this is to me, sometimes if it's not that, it's just like changes then. Like changes need to be made. Like this could be like changing around your house, like relocating like your sofa from that corner to that corner or redecorating. So sometimes it's just the energy of change. Okay. Um, and there's stagnation in your life. I do feel like that. There's, there's a need for change, some type of change even if it's a small one it, there's a need for that like but opening up letting people in Aquarius there's like a need for companionship here too that I'm feeling and seeing and hearing um but you're not opening that door for whatever reasons and I feel like it would be healthy for you and good for you and it would make you feel good all right what do you need to know from your spirit guides yep we have exhaustion so you know this is like being overloaded overloaded with work this is like being a workaholic. This is like being overdriven. This is like, you know, not knowing when to stop. This is like helping everybody and their mother, helping everybody you can, advising people, being there for people, being supportive, cooking meals, you know, um, taking somebody for a ride across town that they needed a ride, like just doing so many things. And I also feel like, I don't know, at work, at work, at work is like, I feel like overloading you. There's too many demands. There's too many people wanting you, needing you. I feel like you just have to like, it's okay to say no. Just know that it's okay to say no. And you have to like put your boundaries. Like just be like, hey, you know, I can only talk for 10 minutes. I'm really tired. I have a headache. You know, I, I, I just need to go to bed or just texting or not answering. Sometimes it's okay to do that. And I do feel like, um, you know, you have the best intentions and, you know, people might take advantage of that sometimes. So Definitely give yourself breathing space and your spirit guides are kind of like, you know, 
trying to guide you to rest and relaxation and just allow it. Love and light.